Reduce versus fold in Kotlin, what is really the difference? Well, both of these functions we can call on a list, for example. If we take a look in the function body of reduce, then it on the one hand gives us an accumulator and a reference to the current value of our list. And what reduce will do is it will call this lambda function first on the first two values on one and two, then map them to what we have in here, so to the sum in this case, which would be three. Then the next iteration of reduce will use this three as the accumulator and call it together with the next value, so it will come up with a six. So the 6 becomes the accumulator, which will then be called with a 4, and so on. So after all, we just calculate the total sum of values in this list. And with fold, the difference is that fold takes in an initial value. So passing in 0 would really be the equivalent here, but we could also let the accumulator start with a 5, for example, and if we then run this, you will see that the reduced sum is 15, which is correct in this case, but the folded sum is 20 because we started off with 5. But the initial value doesn't really need to be the same type as the list items, it could also be a string, and you then call toString here, and if we run this, you will see that we just concatenate a string.